Hey Vikes, I'm Cadence. And I'm Kiernan, and you're watching SVTV. Now, here are your daily announcements. Senior panoramic photo is scheduled for Thursday, April 29th. Order forms are available in the front office. If you want to explore Boston, New York in June of 2023, join informational Google Meet next Wednesday, April 28th at 7 p.m. The Topeka Youth Commission is collecting items to fill hygiene bags for homeless Topekans, and we need your help. Please bring items April 26th through the 30th to your CLP classroom. April is Autism Awareness Month. Please wear red all week to support autism awareness. Driver's Ed enrollment runs through May 6th. Enrollment will be online and can be found on the high school and district website. Interact Club Car Show will be held May 1st from 1 to 4 p.m. in South Parking Lot at Seaman High School. Please see Mr. Collins in W1 or Ms. Miller in W16 for registration form or you can register online. The high school choir program wants to become a part of something special. Come be a part of a group where you can travel and perform in places like Silver Dollar City and New York. Check the posters throughout the school or contact Mr. Bond for more information. The FBI Kansas City Division is offering its Youth Leadership Academy on Friday, June 25th. Check SchoolG for more information. Let's find out what the NFL Draft has in store. We're the first pick in the NFL Draft. Hello and welcome to the 2021 SVTV Mock Draft. I'm Carl Russell with Alex Smith and Connor Shire, and let's get started. With the first pick in our mock draft, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars taking quarterback Trevor Lawrence of Clemson. This one is a given. If you know anything about the NFL draft or college football, you know that he will be the first one off the board. With the second pick, we have the New York Jets selecting Zach Wilson out of BYU. One of the most talented arms in the NFL drafts that we have seen in recent history. Zach Wilson, coming from a smaller school, looks to do big things with the Jets. With the third pick, the San Francisco 49ers are gonna take Trey Lance. Trey Lance is an exciting prospect never thrown an interception in, a, in his college career. His only drawback that would make him fall in the draft is his accuracy, but I doubt that's going to make him fall. With the fourth pick, the Atlanta Falcons are going to take tight end Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts will fit in incredibly well with the Falcons offense with Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, and Calvin Ridley. With the fifth pick, the Cincinnati Bengals will select Panay Sewell out of Oregon. The offensive tackle has incredible size coming in at 6'6", 320 and he looks to provide good protection for Joe Burrow in the passing lanes. With the sixth pick, the Miami Dolphins are going to take LSU wide receiver Jamar Chase. J Jamar Chase is an explosive receiver with good separation, route running, and hands. With the seventh pick, the Detroit Lions are going to select wide receiver Jalen Waddell out of the University of Alabama. The high talent, high speed, and high ability wide receiver can, catch, can jump up in the air and catch anything that's thrown up, and he's similar to his other wide receiver brother at Alabama, Devontae Smith. With the eighth pick, the Carolina Panthers are going to take Penn State linebacker Micah Parsons. The Panthers need defensive help desperately. They spent all their picks in the draft last year on defensive players, and I can see that continuing with them taking linebacker Micah Parsons. With the ninth pick in our mock draft, the Denver Broncos take Ohio State quarterback Justin Fields. Drew Locke has thrown too many interceptions but he will still be given one more chance. Fields will be their backup plan as he needs time to develop wherever he will go. With the 10th pick, the Dallas Cowboys will take Alabama cornerback Patrick Sertain. The Cowboys plan to pair Trayvon Diggs with Patrick Sertain as they played in college together and worked out well. The New York Giants select Northwestern tackle Rasan Slater with the 11th pick. 
The Giants don't have too many holes in their roster after bolstering their receiving core and secondary, but you can't have too much offensive line talent, and the Giants can't pass up the opportunity to take the second best tackle prospect in years. With the 12th pick, the Philadelphia Eagles will select Devontae Smith out of Alabama. Similar to his other wide receiver at Alabama, Jalen Waddell, he can run very clean routes and get up in the air very easily. He's a very talented wide receiver and looks to do big things with the Eagles. With the 13th pick, the Los Angeles Chargers will take Virginia Tech tackle Christian Derisaw. The Chargers badly need a line depth with them having the worst O-line according to PFF last year. Justin Herbert needs a better tackle in order to repeat his amazing season last year. The Minnesota Vikings take Michigan defensive end Quiddy Pay with the 14th pick. We highlighted Pay in our opener and he should be the first defensive end off the board. The Vikings have a need for offensive linemen and defensive ends, but there aren't any offensive linemen worthy of this pick. The New England Patriots used the 16th pick on Alabama quarterback Mac Jones. I think Mac Jones is more of a third round pick, but I think Bill Belichick will think he will fit in nicely with the Patriots offense. With the 16th pick of the SVTV mock draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Virginia Tech's cornerback Caleb Farley. Farley is, in my opinion, the best cornerback in this class, but has fallen due to injury concerns. He will be a great replacement for former Cardinal Patrick Peterson. That wraps up our first half of the 2021 SVTV mock draft. Stay tuned for picks 17 through 32 tomorrow. Make sure to watch it. Draft picks start on the 29th. Now for a quick commercial break before we head over to Zoe with the weather. On Friday, April 30th and Saturday, May 1st this week, Seaman High School Theater will be performing its one-act shows that are student-led at 7 p.m. for $5. They will be performing the show's Law & Order Fairy Tale Unit, directed by Tanner McNutt, and It's Not Me, It's You, directed by Mary Page Bramlett. Make sure to come out and support our theater department. Are you interested in learning Russian next year? For free? or maybe even earning three college credits per semester? Join the upcoming KU Slavic webinar on May 4th and see what this class can do for you. Students are even eligible for an introductory lesson on May 11th. Sign up on Schoology now. Good afternoon, Vikings. We are going to have the sun around for a couple more days before we have some severe storms move through the area. We are above average temperatures right now. Normally in April, our temperatures would be in the higher 60s to lower 70s, where we have been reaching the 80s the past couple of days. Today, we do have a fire warning for most of Kansas because of the high wind speeds that we are expecting throughout today. Today, we are going to see our temperatures get fairly warm with our highs reaching up into the higher 80s area instead of the lower 60s and 70s. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, we are going to continue seeing our temperatures get warmer and warmer as they go between the 80s and 70s. We also do have a chance of scattered thunderstorms tomorrow and Wednesday, tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, and possibly lasting throughout Wednesday day. Now back to your Thanks, Zoe. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.